Hey guys, it's Kez, and we are back in Undertale. Last time we were nearly freaking murdered by fucking Undine. Yay. Okay, let's just keep going. Oh, hi, Sans. Hi. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope. But, since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope? Yes. It's all red. Sans? Is the cap still on? Sans? Man? No? You aren't satisfied. No worry. I'll give you a full refund. Thanks, Sans. It's an odd looking telescope. What did he do? Sans! Use the box? Yes. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? No. I don't think so. Like 88 people are subscribed to me, so I, I don't know if I'd call myself a star. <laughs> Hi. You hear a passing conversation. So, do you have any wishes to make? Hmm. Just one, but it's kind of stupid. That's okay, all of my wishes are stupid. Eh? Oh, hi, Mold Small. Bye. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Sure. I have it over back. Here we go. I guess someone lost their shoes. Ah, jeez. Hello! This is Papyrus! Remember what I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already! And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing! A bandana! Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes! You're such a smart cookie! That's why you were safe, and I didn't lie! No betrayal anywhere! Being friends with everyone is easy! You son of a bitch! Washua and Aaron appear. Clean. Green means clean. Education, hobby, talent. Ow. Aaron is admiring his own muscles. Scrub dubs. Ah! Ah! No! Aaron is sweating bullets. Literally. Uh, Washua... Maybe... Flex. Oops, I meant scrub-a-sub-subs! Ow. Okay, I'm just gonna keep flexing at Aaron until he leaves. Ow. Okay, bye. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. And then he laughed his ass off. And it was glorious. What's this? The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Uh. Huh. 
Huh. I'm just gonna... Can I change my equipment from here? I really can't, can I? Hmm. Ah, jeez. What are you doing? Why are you just standing there? Like a goober. Oh! Oh, it's cute! Hey there. Noticed you were here. I'm Onion-san! Onion-san, you hear? Hi, Onion-san. Okay. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. I like Onion Sun. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I had to sit down all the time, but hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. Do you miss your friends? Looks like he's crying. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay though, you hear? Undine's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Okay, onion son. Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time in Waterfall. Okay. Bye. Oh. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Uh. You hum sad song. Shiren follows your melody. C ray, C ray, C ray, C ray. Ah! Ah! It's attacking! Seems much more comfortable singing along. Okay, bye. The northern room hides a great treasure. I'm good. The power has wait. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception, the soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. Well then. It's a statue. The structure is at its feet seem dry. Bye. Please take one. An umbrella? You took an umbrella. Okay. That's nice of them. Oh, hi again. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. We can walk together. You crazy fanboy Vundine kid. Man, Undine is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would whip the bed every night, knowing she was gonna beat me up. Haha. <laughs> I am no ordinary human. I am a human being controlled by a human playing a video game. So one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, you know, how cool would it be if Undine came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Well, what did I do? Oh, there we go. This is pretty. I like this. Oh, why are you running ahead?
Okay, then. That's Undine's castle, right? Yep. You return the umbrella. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undine, right? Climb onto my shoulders. Are you sure? Can I pull you up? Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Oh, oh okay. You don't have any hands for me to pull up, do you? The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. That's depressing. And I'm out of time, so uh, I'm just gonna save. The sound of muffled rain on the cave top. It fills you with determination. So I'm just gonna save and uh, yeah, hopefully I can upload the videos today. Uh, apparently some of the, con uh, the content creators that I follow on Twitter are having trouble using YouTube today. So if you don't see this on Wednesday, sorry. But you know, I'll try to get this out as soon as I can. Anyway, bye. Love you.